Hey guys, how are you? Hopefully you are fine. So I welcome all of you at my channel Computer Code. So today our first uh, second lecture on Python. The last previous lecture I will discuss the basics of Python and tell what is variable and how we use it. So today I will uh, I'm gonna tell you how to we can write our script in a text file and execute it in according to our need. So let's get start. Simply I just created here a new text document file. Uh, just a second. I just move here desktop. That is text document file. We we'll just simply open it. For the open to better understanding I just used courier new and the font size is 22 and I set bold. Okay and after that I click I write here the python script for print and I print here I am from text document and this is the string and I save this string save as desktop and the name of first python dot py the python extension dot py once it's save and this is created I minimize it and click window plus R and type here CMD the change the color of the CMD you can use it I use color 2 ok so first of all we go to the desktop I type here CD and type D and hit tab once I hit tab I move to desktop to see all the items that are available on my desktop in CMD we can use DIR it will show me the all kinds that are available on my desktop so here is our first python py so what I do I will execute python first python dot py once it's complete so it will display me the text I write here hi I am from that document I just close it and open it here what I should uh, what I should do next I just simply print here hello word if you practice this then you are a good programmer because I am uh, teaching this code from scratch so I will start from uh, from to lower as a child is learning programming first time so I click here control S and execute it again and see what is happening and it will show me text hello world so I remove it and I write a program program that that two values and apply all math arithmetic arithmetic operations and I use here hash because it is commit and I have a variable num1 is equal to that is 10 and here num2 is equal to 5 ok I forgot it and for display it I just use print and type here num1 plus num and hit and control s and I re-execute it as you see it will display me the values ok so what if and I apply all operations that are plus minus divide any operation we can execute it first of all I use sum sum is equal to num1 plus num2 uh, just a second and subtract num1 
minus num2 divide num1 this is divided symbol and here num2 and multiple multiply I set mul and num1 num1 steric num2 and I print here one by one print the sum is here I just print here sum first of all I display it and see if there is no any error uh, okay here is the error that you see line number 10 module the sum here can concate string not into a str okay so it will save me I just concate string not integer I just remove some and control s and execute it what is what will happen okay the, it will give me the syntax error where is the issue I just execute it again okay it will provide me only concatenate string to okay not int to string it say we cannot concatenate int to string okay let me check where is the issue where I am doing something wrong so here is the issue uh, string uh, integer cannot be concatenate with string for that we have another function that is str and pass here sum that it will uh, convert integer to string if I hit here I hit control s and re-execute it as you see the, our problem is solved so I just quickly copy it the sum the sub and I pass here sub the pass here divide and here is multiply so I remove it last one and control s this is gonna very full so here is the command CLS so it will clear the desktop ok I de executed command Python dot first as you see the sum the subtraction division and the multiplication is here hopefully you understand this is the basic level of program once you, uh, once you have your grip on this basic then you can run your big programs and the hundred lines or thousand lines of code according to your need hopefully you understand what I what I wanna say with you okay this type of I make an other program okay I remove it as you see how it is easy Python to understand and Python make us promise to easy language and easily understand we can and the uh, different programming language lab done one work in hundred lines of code it will done with few just two or three lines of code in Python as you see so the here is our basic level problem so there is nothing new just I wanna tell you all of you to how to we can write our first program from scratch because we are learning programming from scratch so it's my duty to tell you how can we can write a code from scratch if you practice on notepad 
then you are good programmer and you face the many kinds of error and error error teach us how we can do and how can we work error teach us so try you get maximum errors then you will then you will be a good programmer okay and the other thing i i said to you all for the future and if you wanna to go in company and do something work so i will give, tell you a website that the website name is hacker rank hacker rank the website name uh, go there and create your account i will give you a demo okay so i will open my browser and type here hacker rank i just open hacker rank this is very good website if you go in a company and you tell the uh, person say i have a uh, this rank in my hacker rank they will not conduct your test because they this is tested and here are thousands of different algorithms and different problems that you can solve as you see i solved this python problems and problem solving and different types of and here is a different problems uh, we will solve it in different ways uh, in different and write as you see here print function and here is a different problems that is we used okay so we can read it include case abstraction strn without any string method to following 1 2 3 and number of n for example n is equal to 5 print print the strings 1 2 3 4 5 and the input format the lines of contain contained an integer okay so uh, this is the problems that you can solve and get to uh, get update your profile okay just i have executed one time and see what is happening okay it will say me std input is 3 and the expected output is 1 2 3 okay I just type here print 1 2 and lesson okay and plus 1 2 and okay plus str that the method we used and type and paste here and and see what will happen hopefully this will is working no response okay so it will give me error draws error int and str okay will processing once it's complete I will see what is happening the problem is that represent con values n is equal to 5 print the strings 1 2 3 4 5 okay Uh, there is different method uh, we can execute it in, into our this method I will try to solve this problem if I not then it's up to you so I recommended all of you create here account okay so n is equal to 3 okay print 1 2 3 1 2 
and plus str that we used in now and first class here and and type here I click here. just move it I type here control s and see what will happen as you see one two three is printed don't know why this is processing is too late okay I just remove it print here that is one two three oh just one two plus str that is n and see what will happen if I successfully done this okay so, so I successfully done this and see I submitted code okay here is a different test that it will working okay so I just unlock it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay just std input is 1 3 3 and it will say to so it will display like 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay I understand how can we do this and uh, it in it input 10 10 so it will execute it for this we use loop but we did not learn about loop so I will not discuss here how we can solve it okay once we complete it then we aggregate then we run loops and that they print like this then we solve this problem okay thanks for watching take care yourself the person who did not subscribe my channel kindly subscribe it and stay with me computer code